pages 20 brk challenge happy new year it's the first one i've done this year and um, there have been challenges running but with covid and uh, being in a second lockdown here um, and working in the insurance industry at a time like this i've been a pretty busy boy so uh, yeah not had much time to participate however this week it's a classic it's burger king no, it's not Burger King. It's Burger Time. What the hell am I talking about? I am so tired, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's been a very long week. Anyway, today's game is Burger Time, a 1982 classic um, that I've got no really real experience with. Um, I never played the arcade machine growing up. I never played the console versions or the home computer editions. I only played it for the first time on MAME when I was an adult so I've got no history with the game I am very very basic when it comes to this uh, I stink I stink at this game it's um, it's it's embarrassing really um, I'm lucky if I can make it to the second level my highest score is 10,150 and the highest score in the challenge right now is 12,500 so I'm I'm a little behind uh, yeah so so yeah, we, we're going to go for it, and we, we're playing it on AntStream this time around. So AntStream is a streaming service that allows you to play licensed retro games, whether they're arcade games, console games, computer games. Uh, and what, what the system does is it automatically configures the game, varying on what device you're actually using, whether that's console, whether it's a PC, or mobile phone. So um, I thought I'd give it a go. I've got a year's license. Uh, to use Antstream, it's got its own leaderboards and its own challenges. So I thought I'd give it a try, and it's it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, so I thought I may as well use it in this particular instance because Burger Time was recently added to Antstream. So hey, win-win, may as well. Okay, so we've got two credits on default settings uh, to get a high score. The highest score wins. Let's see how we do. First credit in. And there's no messing around on burger time. You are straight in. No get ready, get steady, go. None of that jazz. It's... Right, you ready, boy? You're in. Okay. So my only line of defense against the onslaught of sausages um, is basically I've got to either crush them with my my buns you know crush your wiener with my buns or I can use pepper to stun the enemies in place and run past them now that I used to think was an ice cream but I've since been told that that is actually the pepper so uh yeah, it's vitally important that you pick those up. You only have a finite amount of pepper. It doesn't replenish when you die or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, it's a valued resource. But not valued enough to risk my life for. I'm going straight to level 2, and this is where it gets even harder. Gotta be so quick. I'm in trouble. Oh, coffee nation. Right, I need that coffee. And it's gone. And I'm stuck on a ladder. That's the worst bit about this game. You have to be so precise on ladders, it's ridiculous. The amount of times I've gotten stuck where I've not quite licked it. And I've not quite gone up a ladder when I thought I was. Um, that's killed me more than the enemies have. You know, through there. The sheer pattern. Burger's done. 
Gonna get that last piece. Whoa, there's an egg up my ass. Ah. Never mind. Okay, at least the burgers are near the bottom now. So, I'm gonna go to the top piece. I'm just gonna work my way down. I'm gonna use a pepper just to make sure. I'm gonna go for the coffee. No, I'm not. That's a mistake. I'm just gonna leg it. Okay, level three. This is where it gets horrible. These corridors going up and down on these left and right hand sides, they're so difficult. I want those fries! Give me those fries! I'm gonna die for those fries. Ah, oh, shit! No, no, no! Run away, run away, run away! Okay, they're caught. And now it's just a case of getting as much of this done as I possibly can while they're busy. I'm stuck on a ladder again. Well, this is a personal best. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, how you like them apples? And oh, no peppers! <laughs> 12,550? Yeah, buddy. That's a personal best. I will take that. Thank you very much. Yeah. That puts me in first place for now at the leaderboard uh, for the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page challenge. Um, I don't know where I'm going to stand at the Antstream leaderboard, but we will find out after credit number two. So that was credit number one. Now credit number two. Here we go. And we're off. Ah. Crap. ladder again. Yeah, I want my pepper. I want my pepper. I got my pepper. Nice. I want my pepper again. Pepper's gone. around the rosy with a hot dog. Not how I thought I'd be planning to uh, spend my Saturday, but hey ho, what you gonna do when a wiener is chasing you? Well, that's some nice points. Oh, my hot dogs are getting fast. They're pretty pissed off at me. Let's go. Oh, my peppers. Okay, we've got this. No, we don't have this. The bun is still there. Got to get down to that bun. There we go. And we're off. Oh, 
I'm stuck. No. Ah. Going horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. No, it's over. Well, okay, my second round stank on ice, but the first round was pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, so what was it? Uh, 12,550 points. Thank you very much. That is the score to beat now. Um, if you want to join into the Retro Tech 100 Facebook page, it's 20PRK Challenge, then jump over to Facebook and go to search for Retro Tech 100. Um, all the rules are there for the 20P Challenge. Submit your score, jump in, have fun. And while we're here, let's also look and see how I did on the actual Ant Stream leaderboards. Oof, <laughs> 57th place. Uh, although when you look at the scores wow one person is miles ahead of everybody else but looking at those scores 57th ain't bad I'll take it anyway until the next one guys stay safe take care bye for now